Starting. Can you hear me? Uh, I think so. Who was that? Awesome. Who was that? Fixed that it. was Austin. That's okay. Austin. What's up? That is Austin. All right. How's it going, Hello. dude? Starting it now. All right. It's going. How are you? I just woke up. I work at a bar at night. Hey, me too. <laughs> me Matt, too. Matt does too. I, I was like, I was like, oh, you just got off work? Well, me too. I wonder if, uh, <laughs> I wonder yeah, if you're so, a fellow bartender. Uh, I'm gonna be bartending next weekend. Oh, I've okay. been bar backing for over a year. All right. Nice. My biggest inconvenience was not being able to get a Mountain Dew. So if I'm not excited, then you know. You shut up. You I'm on three Matt. hours of sleep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have my stash of Dr. Pepper. Oh, we're... oh hell yeah. We I, I'm sure I can find some caffeine-inlated thing oh, in this house. Oh, Let's fuck. Look. No, no. No, what? What's up? Um, I'm, I'm broken. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Well, I mean, there we go. No work. No, no we're good. <laughs> Is it streaming now? No, we're good. We're Thank good? You know yeah. what's going to be weird? I'm going to go to your Twitch TV, and I'm going to watch us playing Twitch TV, and your Twitch TV while watching us play us while we're in the I life. suggest really muting tripping. one of those. <laughs> yeah, no, I, 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 I muted it. Come on. I, I, was, have all I, the I kept it up world. to make sure it worked. And uh... Oh, man. You never know. You never know, Toe. You never know. Okay, so we are streaming now. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we're streaming now. Hello, everybody. I have to say hi to Mark. Mark, that was me saying hi to you in the chat. <laughs> okay. So, oh man, let me uh, tweet roll twenty real quick. So you can uh, do any introductions that you see fit. Yeah. So, um, everybody, first of all, thank you for coming out to a little extra life D and D role playing thing. It was uh, kind of just put together. I, I haven't done a lot. For the charity this year, as much as uh, I've done in past years, it's really just been uh, – I've been very, very busy lately. But I did want to get this all working, and so um, where this group kind of came from was when I was looking for a DM, I was uh, graciously invited to Matt's group there. And uh, so I've played so far with uh, Matt as our DM and met Zach through that as well, Zach being our fearless monk. And uh, so that campaign's been going well. I, I floated the idea to Matt about – raising money for uh, the Children's Hospital in Pittsburgh. So uh, he wanted to do something like that. We decided what would be really cool was to start off with uh, something kind of silly, something kind of fun of Kobolds Ate My Baby, and uh, maybe a little bit st uh, sadistic, considering we're raising money for a children's hospital, but still, you know. <laughs> um, so we'll be starting off with Kobolds Ate My Baby, which is basically just a fun, silly, you know, adventure. After that, we're going to be moving into Mouse Guard, uh, Mouse Guard being a little bit more serious, uh, a little bit more fun, basically playing as uh, sentient medieval mice trying to survive in a harsh and cruel world. Um, I will apologize uh, ahead of time. I'm starting to get a cold, so um, I'm going to try and basically hope that my voice keeps up through the whole day and keep everything working. And we lost Bob, but I'm sure he'll come back. <laughs> and... Uh, that should basically be our day for today. So again, folks, thank you for coming out. And uh, once we get Bob in here, uh, we should be pretty, pretty good to go, I think. So. I'm just recruiting people. <coughs> All right. Well, while we, uh, while we continue to set up real quick, let me just get a bottle of water, and uh, I'll be right back. Did you put anything on Twitter? I wish I had water. I wish I had water. See, it's too early for me to start drinking right now, but all I have is just so... <laughs> oh, last night was so... We had a foam party last night, Matt. <laughs> Matt, do you foam? get to do any cool things at your cool bar? Stuff at my we, um, mainly my, a lot. My, my dad owns um the night the local nightclub and um the two bars in town and so that's where I work and that phone party was stupid. <laughs> Wait, can nobody still hear me? Um, I can barely hear you at all. What the fuck? Okay, give me a second. All right. God damn it, Technical Bob. Technical difficulties, everybody. God damn it, Bob. <sighs> I'm annoyed, Bob. Oh, I'm not able to speak to you yet. So. Okay, is this better? Ah! I have one too. Moral support. 
<laughs> it's okay. gonna be the one to eat the baby. Okay, so I can see my levels moving on my picture now. It's starting to get better. Yeah, it is getting high. This is a better bit, than yeah. Need need a little bit better. No, you get, you get <laughs> God damn it, Bob. You know. Okay, how about how about now? Is yeah, it's better? a lot better. Nah, okay. it's a lot better, yeah. So now that I'm on and we're officially on stream, uh, go eat a bag of dicks. <laughs> all right. Well, that's, that's lovely. Hey, yeah, thanks a lot for uh, replying to all my emails there, buddy. I have this habit of not responding to, like, text messages, <laughs> emails, like, IMs. I don't respond. I, I read it, and I'm like, I can think of a response, and then I don't respond. You're like, oh, I could. Did everyone get their character sheets, by the way? I got the character sheet. Awesome. Yes. Good. Good, good. Good, good, good. Yeah. You're talking the uh, the PDF that you had created? Yes, and that you can fill out. Yeah. yeah. It should be editable in uh, Adobe Reader. Yep. Or in Chrome. Oh, yeah. Or in Chrome, I guess. If you can. I guess. Oh, that's Here, I'll, nice. I'll be right back. Oh, of course. <laughs> okay. Do -do. And once he gets back, we will start. Yay. We're going to go through character creation of the uh, Kobolds, right? Yes. Awesome. No, I just got to wing it, man. <laughs> that's pretty much how it's going to be anyway, I think. But uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much... I've never run either, ran either of these games. So, we'll see. This is kind of a, uh, a new thing. Alright, freaking Bob, you know, this guy, I'll tell you what. Yeah, damn it, Bob. <laughs> Bobacus. I miss that LP, toe. Which LP? Bob Bobacus and uh, uh, Borderlands, I think, was what we started. And Correct. it just didn't, uh, just didn't get through. It was too, uh, too difficult to yep. coordinate everybody's schedule. But it was hilarious, I can tell you that. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. So All I'm right. Back. Fucking time, dude. Jesus. So, dude, I was going for like 30 <laughs> fucking seconds. That's a long that, 30 that was a long 30 seconds. That was a long 30 seconds. But... Okay. Well, okay, because it so. was like three minutes, but whatever. Okay, guys. <laughs> All right. So, this is a beer and pretzels role-playing game. Um, while most role-playing games promise to sweep you into a world of fantasy and adventure where you assume the roles of mythic heroes and mighty wizards wielding power and weapons beyond the keen of mortal men. Other games promise that their sublime storytelling will be a source of uplifting joy for the player, allowing you to embark upon a journey of personal growth and emotional heartbreak. Hint, that's coming up later in Mouse Guard. But, Cabal Day My Baby, 3rd edition, uses the beer engine. The beer and pretzels role-playing game system that only promises to waste a few hours of your life and lets you get right down to the mashing and bashing of things. We also promise that the game will be simple enough to play inebriated if you so choose. <laughs> and you can even watch inebriated. That would be fine too. But that's so, just kind of sad. What's that? I said that, that's just kind of sad though. Uh, not really. No, I'm just giving shit. <laughs> so, in the beer engine, your character has four stats. Brawn, Ego, Extraneous, and Reflexes. Uh, which determine how good your cabal is at doing things like casting a spell, cooking dinner, or slaying a chicken. To perform some action in the game, you must roll under one of your stats on a certain number of dice, blah, 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 blah. We'll get to that later. Okay, but for now, creating your cabal. First thing you need to do, um, in this order, from top down, beer, brawn, ego, extraneous, and reflexes. Uh, roll 2d6 four times. <laughs> uh, you know, I should probably put my character sheet on the stream, but I'll get to that, folks. I'll, I'll get it up on the stream then. How many times did you say? Four for each stat. Yeah. Well, Five. Oh, yeah, right. four. Yeah, going four on overall. Each stat. And... The first roll is going to be your first stat, the second roll, your second stat, the third roll, your third stat, the fourth roll, your fourth stat. Wow. That so three. Just... So oh. we just roll and put them down in order? Yes. Yep. 
You have a lot of ego. Woo! And I so, will, me too. I will explain what every all these mean. Oh, Chat when I'm editing this, by a moderator. What the fuck? When I'm editing this PDF, every it's last every box is every letter box. Yep. yep. <laughs> what? Every single box. Every time we update a field, all the fields are chained together. So you you put a nine in one field, and it, it populates left paw, right paw, up oh, okay. armor. One second. I will fix this. Right. That's a all good right, idea. <laughs> technical difficulties, folks. We're working on it. This, I mean, will, I... this will seriously only take like one minute. Or we can just print it. Right. I... You could. Or, print I mean, it. it'll be right. It'll be okay if I can just roll a twelve and put twelve in every one of them. I mean, is yeah. All right, it... <laughs> is that acceptable? Damn it! Damn it! Just remember your right. rolls and. Uh... Uh, mine suck dicks. What would you guys get? Awesome. Fuck you. Uh, like five, <laughs> nine, six, six. <laughs> Ouch. That's what I got. Three, that five, there eight, is five. a cobalt creator. Yeah, but that's different. That's okay. like automatic stuff, and yeah, I mean, who wants to do that? Fair enough. So my my cobalt is a <laughs> gangly, egotistical little <laughs> asshole. Maybe we should join together. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be fun to play with, guys. This is gonna be quite enjoyable for everyone. <laughs> I'm very extraneous. <laughs> At was, least a you know, average. I was worried about that happening. What? The whole text thing being linked up. You don't test these things out, Matt? I tested the checkboxes. <laughs> I actually, what's weird, though, is I tested the checkboxes, too. As soon as you sent it, I was like, oh, cool, checkboxes work. I didn't even try and update a field. Yeah, that's exactly what I did, too. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> we got checkboxes. What else matters? I know. <sighs> checkboxes make the world go round. We're only kobolds. What do you expect of us? They make them go square with a little check mark in them. Well, you know what? While we fix this up, um, why don't we do a Steam game giveaway? Cause... I'll take one. Oh, yeah, sure, Bob. I'll yeah. take one. We're How just about giving that? that to us, right? And people will watch us get gifts. Hey, right? hey Toe. Yeah? Do you want to do the one that I was talking about the other day? Uh, you had Humble Bundle stuff, didn't you? Uh, Payday. Payday. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, nice. That's up to you. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Hey, right, it's so... fucking awesome. I agree. Well, now everybody knows my Steam account name, but that's okay. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> if we didn't already, we're probably pretty bad at finding things. Okay. Right. I think I fixed it. Uh, I'm saving uh, it I and sending it what? to you guys. <laughs> but I just closed my email. No, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> It'll be all right. I think I got this. I wasn't really sorry. I mean, I didn't <laughs> think you were. No remorse, motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. I'm so sad. God, my second monitor is like not working at all. God, Straight. so much, so much trouble these first fifteen minutes. Yeah. Partially. Uh, don't, don't lie. Before yeah. the stream, we were sitting here for an hour trying to figure things out. Uh, totally. <laughs> uh, so what do we got? Uh, what games do I have? I don't know. I got. DLC oh, yeah. quest. We just got. Uh, let's see, Kevin, Justin, Zach. Okay. I got a few. I got some go. stuff to give away. Here we go. This will work. This will work nicely. <clears throat> Did you send it out? I am sending it now. It is sent. Oh, you got a cat too? Oh shit, Tris! Hey, come here. <laughs> They're having Tris. a cat off. Okay. <laughs> She's just licking herself. She's let me go. Let me go find my girlfriend's cat now. Look at the camera. All right. Look let's, at the uh, camera. Let's get the PDF thing going here. Is this working now? Theoretically. Is it working now? I don't know. You tell yeah. me. Well, Theoretically. <laughs> I hit. Uh, I hit the save. All right. Now I got to go back to my rolls. Oh man. I know. God. Yeah. Right. I got to oh, remind so it. And it is working now. God. If only someone would have gotten it right the first time. I, I mean. know. You know what's going to suck? I got to do that for the mouse guard one, too. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is, uh... There's a few more people in that one, isn't there? Oh, yeah. No, while you guys are doing that, I had to have my own campaign. I've got to be in. <laughs> <laughs> so much D&D &D today, man. Lucky bastard. I'm in two campaigns that run full time and a third campaign that runs randomly throughout the week. See, I can't even find a campaign. 
Dude, roll twenty dot net. Yeah. They're everywhere. Reddit, the, the subreddit looking for game roll twenty is fantastic. Why? There's, well, you've been looking uh, at other groups, Zach. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> we haven't been playing as often as I would like, so nah, I'm not in any other group right now. Don't worry, Zach. I won't tell him you joined me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, Matt. You think this is the first time Austin and I have hung out? Mm. All right. Well, <laughs> go fuck yourself. Is the is the character sheet faithful. working? I've been All recruiting right. him as well. I just need to know if the character sheet is working now. It is. It works. Working. Yep. Yeah, Fantastic. It works. All right. Now, I will get back to explaining what the four stats are. Brawn is how big, mean, tough, and strong a kobold is. When you want to break something, lift something, hurt something, or otherwise act macho, you roll against Brawn. Brawn determines how hard your kobold is to kill, called hits. And how well they killed called to hit. Ego is the intelligence used here as a relative term. Knowledge and self-control, again relatively speaking, of a kobold. It determines how well you do at mental feats like casting magic spells, hiding, or speaking with humans. Extraneous is a useless stat. Um, it's basically... When doing something that has no bearing on killing stuff, getting hurt, or blowing things up, roll against extraneous. Extraneous determines your movement. Reflexes are, of course, how quick, athletic, and dexterous your kobold is. When you want to climb walls, jump, dodge, hit stuff, or run away, you roll against reflexes. And uh, reflexes determine how good you are at not getting hit, called combat dice. Okay, has everyone entered their stuffs? I have. Okay. <laughs> Jamal Charles of the Wolves. <laughs> oh, that game's today, so I might be a little distracted because I'm going to at least get a stream of the game going. Dude, Justin, you rolled really well. Nice. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't call me that. That's my slave name. <laughs> you can change your name and roll 20. I'm yeah, dude, your your name is Justin in Roll20. I don't know what else to call you. How do I change this shit? Okay. Uh, go, go up, up to the settings. little cog. Yeah. And then scroll down, and you'll see display name, and just change it. <clears throat> well, at least, at, least, at least you didn't roll that well either. <laughs> oh, damn. I, I mean, if you think about it, we all rolled threes on a, a six-side dice, so it's not that bad. It's average, but it looks like Justin's going to be our front runner here. <laughs> uh, by the way, you're all could be competing, competing against each other, kind of. Yeah, we're not working together, sort. Of. Well, I mean, well we could... you're you're not working against against each other, but you're not. I thought we were. You, it, it's kind we of to help each other. They're cobalt sweet crap. And you can I do... got it the first time. Obviously, if someone grabs a baby or something that the, another cobalt wants, there's nothing saying that you can't kill the other cobalt. She's like, no, that's my baby. I'm going to kill you for it. But this of course, you could, you could kill the baby in the process, and that's bad. You don't want to kill the baby. Because <laughs> King Torg, all hell King Torg, oh, all hell King Torg will be. All yes. hell King Torg? House rule. If you do not, if anyone, including me, says King Torg and instantly. All hell King Torg. And instantly, all hell can cover. no one says, or not everyone says, all hell can cover. The person who doesn't say it has to roll on the Kabul dead death chart. Um, it, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get to that in a second. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. Okay. Um, okay, now the skills. So... Select one skill from each stat group and record it on the Kabul reference sheet under skills. Um, bronze skills. Uh, bash. The ability to break inanimate objects. The difficulty of the action is determined by how hard something is. Duelist. Is a danger feat. Or danger skill. Um, a Kabul, it's basically dangerous to use it. Um, the, the Kobold is a seasoned veteran, and by using Duelist can re-roll a failed attack roll. The skill does not require a brawn roll. Um, lift. The Kobold is especially brawny 
and by using this skill can carry an additional item without penalty. The difficulty depends on how long the bold plans carry the item. One die per turn. Um, basically, the lower number of die, the better. So, yeah. Um, by adding one die per turn, uh, things get harder progressively. So swimming, the Cabal can swim, obviously. Um, wrestle, the Cabal, the Cabal is trained at grabbing living things and putting them on the ground. You, you know, you figure that out. Uh, ego skill. Well, actually, I'll let you choose one of the brawn and then I'll go on to ego. And I need to get some to drink. All this talking is a pain in the ass. You keep screwing up. What are right, you guys so we doing? Just, we just pick one? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna be an athlete. I was thinking athlete too. I'm trying to wrestler. Uh, so is it a good thing that we all, that some of us rolled low? Is that what he's talking about? We're going to be playing against those dice, or those are the dice we use to do things. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna go with. Hey Matt. Yes. Let's go with duel. So higher stats are better, correct? Yeah. Or are higher those the stats dice are that better. Yes. Against? Higher stats okay. are better. Alright, that's what I thought, so. I'm trying to find a good way to get the character sheet on the screen, and it's, uh... Just put it in front of the, uh, World 20 window. You don't need it for now. Oh, okay. Well, Gotta be a wrestling extra easy. bouncy in heat kobold. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would... I'm gonna send you a link. Um, toe and... You can play it so the streamers or the listeners can listen to it real quick. Are you emailing that? Or are you, no, uh... I'm going to send it in the chat window. Okay. There you go. It's the most ridiculous thing I've heard. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> ridiculous. Alright. Uh... <coughs> okay, so has everyone chose, chosen a bronze skill? Yes. Okay. Took uh, duel. By yeah. the way, uh, on the bottom it should have like a star or something. It's, uh, it's exclamation point is dangerous, and a star is every cabal has that skill anyways. So if, yep. if you have a, a skill with a star by it, you already have that. So, anywho. Ego. Hide. The ability to conceal oneself, obviously. Lackey is a dangerous sk danger um, skill. The ability to cast a magic spell. You have to have Lackey in order to cast a magic spell. Uh, track. The ability to follow a trail, whether in town, in the bushes, or underground. Trap. The ability to set traps or disarm them without being harmed. Um, the difficulty for searching for traps is 2d6. And the difficulty, of course, of disarming it is up to me. Speak human. Some kobolds have dedicated their lives to learning the speech of their favorite prey. With this skill, a cabal can speak and understand one word of human per point of ego. Write down your cabal's vocabulary on the cabal reference sheet somewhere. Or keep it handy somewhere. If a cabal <coughs> attempts to speak or understand anything other than these words, 
The difficulty is determined by how many words are in the sentence. One die per word. Or I may just have you roll a horrible death check. Um, by the way, you have to roll a uh, you have to roll on the yeah, a death check if you act uncaboldly. So don't hmm. be thinking like humans. Think like kabolds. <laughs> All right, so you got to pick one of these skills. Yes. Go with trap. <clears throat> Did you say what sage was? Is there a <clears throat> sage in the in ego? Yeah, there. Our character sheets seem like they're a little bit different. I than think they are. Oh, because I didn't have bash on the other one either. Oh, yeah. yeah. Interesting. I'm taking shoot for ego. What kind of spells are there? Is anyone else doing spells? Uh, I have a five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's my highest stat, so I feel like that should be either that or hide, I guess. I don't know. Well, I mean, if you want to min-max it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh. Shoot. I'm going to go hide. I bet Sage is actually... Um... Oh, never mind. I don't know what Sage is. It's, it's probably your spell casting, I would think, no? Well, Lackey's also on there, so Lackey's oh. spell casting. Oh, yeah. Cool. Huh. Well, I bet... Uh, oh, I think this is like from their newest one that's not out yet, and somehow the character sheet's out. Oh, well. It's basically the same thing for the most part. Um, that's fine. Alright. Extraneous. Bard. Well... You know, kobolds don't have a great oral tradition, and most of their storytellers are just big fat liars. A kobold with the bard skill can lie. The difficulty of lying to another player is 3d6. Uh, 4d6 to lie to the guard, and 5d6 to lie to King Tord. All hail King Tord! All hail King Tord. <laughs> Fuck you guys, you all get death checks. Yeah, pretty much. I was taking a drink. <laughs> I'm thirsty, damn it. I'm just testing you. We're not. Uh, we're not. We'll we'll start that when when we actually get our characters uh, all all settled. This is gonna be good. Okay. <laughs> um, and sixty six to lie to Vor himself, the god of kobolds. Uh, cook training in the culinary arts. Every kobold has this, I do believe. Um, do 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 do. Reference sheet. What do we got? Do we even have? There's We've dungeon, got... track, and trade. Yeah. I think track was explained in ego. Wasn't it? Yep. Oh, no, traps. 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 So I know, track went to ego in uh, in your explanation on it. I think the character sheet's just a little bit different. Um, but I would say it's probably easy. It's just to play with the character sheets we have as opposed to... Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> well... Anywho, um, there is doo -doo -doo. trade is a dangerous skill. The kobold has trained long and hard to be a good uh, dickerer, bargainer, or used horse salesman, and so can re-roll any result on any chart. Um, the skill can be used during kobold generation and does not require a roll. Um, let's see. We're going to use Spelunk. Oh, okay. They changed them up. That's what. That's yep. weird. So I think Dungeon is probably your closest. Yeah. Uh... Spelunk is going to be Dungeon. Is the ability to hang from ropes, drive stakes, and do those other nifty things that adventurers like to do in dungeons. Um, Cower. Is there a Cower? Oh, it's on reflexes. They changed them. Okay. Yep. Um, let's see what else is there. Bar, dungeon, trade, track, cook. Okay. Well, now we'll move on to cower. Um, most kobolds lack the sense of self-preservation needed to try and avoid taking damage. Those kobolds that do try and get out of the way are considered cower, cowering weaklings. By cowering, a kobold increases their combat dice by one until the end of their next turn. This does not require a roll. Um, 
Reflexes. Let's see that. Um, athletes. Do we have athlete here? No. We're going to do fast. Strength. We're going to do fast for athlete. Well, athletes um, and brawn. Is it? Yeah, what athletes the and brawn. Fuck is this shit? Yeah. Everything's all. Everything's all straight. jacked up. I don't like this character sheet. Sorry, we'll, we'll make it work. All right. We'll oh, we'll, oh yeah, we'll make it work. It's not a big deal. Um, just remind me, you know that a, a certain skills, a certain thing. All right. Um, athlete Volt, obviously that's not fair. Passes Cabold is a sprinter and increase their move this turn. The difficulty is equal to one die per blah blah blah. blah. Um, throw Cabold can hurl melee weapons, babies, and gear at foes. Sneak the ability to move quietly and remain undetected. Steal is of course stealing. Okay. What is wiggle? We <laughs> Basically, getting out of something like I'm, if someone's I'm grabbing you, if someone's wrestling you, you can wiggle. <laughs> be scared my of my wrestling. Of you wrestler, you. <laughs> I only right. got a three run. Don't be scared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've got a three reflex. So I'm just gonna... <laughs> the downside of everything, as you may have heard, it is tough being a kobold. Every time a kobold fails, a skill roll. There's a chance that they will die a horrible kabold death. Every time a kabold fails, check off a box in the kabold horrible death record. Um, basically, every time that you take a check, you roll 2d6 and add the number of checks on the kabold horrible death chart. And if the result is greater than 12, you die in some magnificent way. That's awesome. <laughs> So these are going to be our permanent characters, pretty much. Well, uh, we're, we're pretty much guaranteed to keep this same kobold through the run. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, good deal. <laughs> Death is not an option. And if someone does die, um, I will actually look to the viewers instead of the group and uh, get a little involvement going on, so they're not just sitting there bored. Um, <laughs> it is up to them if we allow you. To come back in, as another kobold, you know, it might so be good. Same, so if, like the American Idol of role playing games, basically. <laughs> <laughs> um, edges and bogeys. All right, guys. Um, edges and bogeys are the inborn talents and deficiencies. All right. Obviously, the edges are good, bogeys are bad. Bark like a kobold. Everyone should have that, but it's not on there because <laughs> we just you, have it. <laughs> you automatically have this. Kobolds are known for being exceptionally good at cooking and particularly poor at almost everything else. So, <laughs> how is it that kobolds haven't become extinct? Especially when it seems they're, that fighters are always killing hordes of them and warlocks are always throwing them against their enemies. Ignorant of all the rules of evolution, kobolds have developed the unique ability to make the impossible happen. Vor <laughs> only knows why. Before rolling the dice, the player can bark, growl, and generally act like, like her kobold or his kobold to have the difficulty of any action reduced by one die. But... Every time you use this edge, you must be louder the next time. <laughs> Poor viewers. Sorry to those of you wearing headphones now. So you can start off at, at, at a whimper. And I will basically be like Caesar, holding my thumb up or down <laughs> and waiting for the viewers to say yay or nay. But my girlfriend's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks to be you. <laughs> That's okay, I'll wake her up. Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Don't yeah, judge me. Not good. My girlfriend's sleeping too. Okay. So. Raising money for charity is what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. We just we just gotta start off really quiet. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Just be Come like this. <laughs> bark. <laughs> huh. Hey guys. Her. Be afraid. Well okay, I'm looking to see which ones we got here. Is it cheating if I turn my microphone volume up and down while I do it? Yes, absolutely. It is cheating. 
It's That's good. a death chart roll right there. It's good. I don't know how to do it anyways. <laughs> okay. Um, fearless. Do you have fearless? Okay. Um, the, okay. The, this is this is why it's not listed because you automatically have these yeah. fearless. Have you ever stopped and wondered why it, it is that a pack of measly weak little kobolds attack a party of fully armed and armored warriors backed by fireball chucking wizards? The truth is, kobolds have no understanding of the concept of self-preservation. Some have speculated that the tiny size of the kobold brain allows them to cheerily march into the maw of certain doom. While others believe that if kobolds do begin to act in a cowardly way, like trying not to get killed, then Boar himself strikes them down, <laughs> as Boar hates cowards. If a kobold is acting exceptionally cowardly, the mayor may choose to give that may choose to give that kobold a horrible kobold a kobold horrible death check. Which I will, if uh, if the viewers bring something to my attention, and they say, "Hey, he's acting cowardly," I will make you roll. And someone needs to replace their battery in their fire alarm. That would be... God damn it, I keep forgetting to do that. Okay. Uh, uh, your house is going to burn down. Also, yeah, there is yeah. one more thing that everyone has. Taste like chicken. It is well known fact that kobolds are extremely tasty when prepared correctly. Should a kobold become wounded, all critters other than humans in the map square must make an ego roll at two dice. If the result is greater than the creature's ego, the desire to eat the tasty little kobold becomes overpowering. So, try not to have all your kobolds in one map square. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Alright, so... So, here's what we do. Roll 1d6. Four. Four. Oh, Alright. Kevin and Bob, you gain extra padding. Hey! Which in this is called fatty goodness. You have lived the good life, and a round pudgy belly is the big reward. You start the game with 1d6 additional hits from hey. your impressive bulk. Um, or cushion for the pushing. So remind me when we get to hits that you roll an extra d 1d6, okay? Um, let's see, Austin, you rolled a five. Troll blood. One of your ancestors would have, was a bit of a swinger. You have nothing, <laughs> you have the wondrous ability to regenerate damage. You can spend one full turn doing nothing else, um, to licking your wounds, and you gain two hits. Awesome. Um, you can only lick your wounds when you are damaged, of course. And Zach, you <laughs> well, are bouncy. The gods yeah. have decreed that this kobold will not be falling to his death. No matter how far you may fall, or how much damage is taken, your kobold will always have at least one hit after hitting bottom, <laughs> and will bounce into a random adjacent square. Nice. Okay. That's going to be hilarious. That matches my game goal overall. My build. <laughs> okay. Everyone roll another d6. Ah. Good job, Bob. I try. <laughs> Bam! Six. Oh, man. So that's the Rough, problem dude. you try. Uh, <laughs> Austin, you have an animal foe. You spent most of your life kicking dogs and lighting cows on fire. As a result, all animals get a bad, bad vibe uh, from being near you. All animals within your map square will try to leave, and if cornered, will attack. Um, Zach, you are hungry. You have an insatiable uh -huh. appetite, even for a kobold. <laughs> you need to eat. Your need to eat is so great that if you smell the blood of anything tasty... You must make a three dice ego roll or go into a feeding frenzy, unable to stop yourself from trying to eat your prey. Um, I'm probably going to eat the baby, guys. I probably should carry it. <laughs> oh, man. No one got kobold in heat. That sucks. Oh. I know. I was wanting that one. Uh, faultless. <laughs> uh, the only thing wrong with you is you're a kobold. Uh, hey! So, <clears throat> Bobacus. 
You taste like baby. Wait, 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 wait. I taste like chicken and babies? Yes. Do I taste like egg? So I taste like eggs? Yes. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Every kabul tastes great swimming in tomato gravy, but you just smell delicious. Should you become wounded, all critters other than humans in the map square <laughs> must make an ego roll at three dice. If a critter fails the roll, the desire to eat you becomes overpowering. <laughs> Zach's gonna try to and eat you. And <laughs> if the kabul with the hungry bogey is nearby, they oh, must God make a damn. five dice ego roll. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Zach it. missed all that too. Okay? I know, Wait, right? Don't don't tell him about that. Right, just, he doesn't uh, even know about he'll it. figure that out later. Well, That'll be more fun. Hurt. Why am I eating Bob? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll wait for Zach to get back, and then we will do the weapons. I'm so I have fucked. a stick. I want a stick. I've got a sword. We still got viewers watching. I don't know if that those descriptions uh, bored them or not. Okay. Yeah, I think we still got some people watching. Okay. They slowly pour in. Cool. <laughs> Before you know it, total out about 10,000 and all that good stuff. Well, this, yeah. this is actually a pretty inter funny uh, character creation, so it's not that bad. Yeah. Definitely more enjoyable than, like, a Pathfinder. Oh, God. It'd be, we'd be here for, like, three hours be like, I don't know if I want this. Well, I mean, it's not actually, it's not hard to create a Pathfinder character. No, it's just I like do it all the time now, though. People so. a lot and trying to find certain feats. Yeah. All right, Zach. Zach. What's up? Now that Zach's here. Um, Bob tastes like baby. So when he is wounded, you must make a five dice ego roll to resist eating him. Um, <laughs> Don't rub your hands together. I don't like that. So, nom, 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 nom. instant nom. <laughs> Everyone roll 2d6. Crushed it! Uh oh, maybe right. not a good thing. Bobacus. I hope God it's not a good it. thing. Kevin. No, who rolled first? Zach did. Zach, did. nine. You have a cooking utensil. It's your weapon. You have okay, a cooking, cool. like a spatula, basically. Where is, is that a field, or I just noted uh, that? You put it in one of your paws. Well, that's convenient, since I'm hungry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't use that on me. Um, by the way, kobolds can carry only Snap. carry two items at a time. Their little kobold brains cannot handle more than that. <laughs> what? If, okay. if, if a kobold is caught carrying more than two items, they immediately get a kobold horrible death check. If, you, you, that you means if to... you don't say, I drop what's in my right paw and pick something up, you are carrying more than two items, and you must make a kobold horrible death check. Isn't lift the character trait that you can carry three things? I don't know. We'll get back to that in a second. <laughs> um, Bobakis. You get an iron skillet. Yes. Uh, Austin, you get a knife. Yeah. Kevin, you get a chain. It does hey. two damage and it makes you look menacing. All right. Choke somebody out with your chain. Now, um, a bonus die. Oh, sorry, wrong thing. Uh -huh. Everyone, roll two d six again. Kevin, you get beer barrel armor. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you have nine armor and a penalty die to athlete checks. Uh, all right. Sorry. Oh, wait. I'll put this. Up. So maybe you can like have like a small piece of paper that you just write beer barrel armor just so you know what you have. Is it, oh, I've got armor on the sheet there. Can I use that, or is that an actual... I don't oh, know how much room there is. Right. So let me just put in armor 9 there. Yeah. Um, um, by the way, everyone does need to make note of what are they are carrying. I'm sure you, you're doing that, so... Yeah. Kevin is done. Austin, 3. You get socks. You're wearing <laughs> socks. You socks. have one armor. 
Uh, Zach, nine. You have khaki pants. You are stylish. Oh, yeah. You have one armor. Um, and Bob. You have beer barrel armor as well. Yay. All right. Now, for that other hand of yours, the random gear chart. Roll 2d6. Wow, there's a period there. That's All what right. she's... Bob and that's a 26. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I'm not awake yet. Okay. Um, Bobacus, you have Codex of Tabriz the Arcane. Um, who's next? Kevin, six. You have a 10-foot pole. <laughs> um, Long jump? Austin, oh, baby. You have a 10 foot pole. And Zach, you have 25 feet of rope. Oh. I. Okay, uh, this may be retarded, but uh, I can't carry all three things, right? What do you have? I've got a cooking spatula, khaki pants, and now I've got rope. Khaki pants uh, you're wearing, not carrying. I assume wearing, you're wearing so the counts. pants. Okay. All right. Well, hey, my kobold's <laughs> hey, not really... Kobold's really that dumb. <laughs> I'm He's role playing kobold really pants. well, guys. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. Um, so gear descriptions. 10-foot pole. It's a long piece of wood. Um, you get a bonus die to all Splunk actions, which in this case are dungeon actions. Um, that was me? The red god only knows where you're going to put it. 25 feet of rope, a length of rope, and a nice neat coil. Unfortunately, after you use it the first time, you know that you'll never be able to coil it as nicely as it is now. It's like folding a map. And when was the last time you saw a Kabul cartographer? Once used, it counts as two items to carry. <laughs> Use it wisely. So, can you just like drag it behind you? I want the freaking trait that I can carry shit. Codex of Tabriz, the arcane, evil art, arch warlock for hire. You have D6 pages of magic book. To use these pages, you must crumple them up and throw them at someone. Cause kobolds don't rate so good. Uh, the person hit by the page is the target of the magic spell. And you can find the exact spell by rolling 2d6 and consulting the random spell, blah 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 blah. Regardless of the effect, it instantly happens. No ego roll required. But, every time you use it, add a check to the Cabal Horrible Death Record. I'm so gonna die. We're depending on you, Bob. <laughs> when using Don't. the book, the player must actually crumple up a piece of paper and throw it at one of... at And, well, you, you don't have a webcam. That's not fair. I'm gonna throw it at my monitor. Okay, throw it at your monitor. I better hear the sound of, pu of paper crunching. Oh, you will. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this game is gonna be awesome. Um, so... Roll a d6, uh, Bobacus, because you have the book, right? Yeah. Okay. You have two two pages of a magic book. Oh, well, that's a... Um, okay. <clears throat> and whenever you want to use one of the spells, roll 2d6 and we'll say which... And we'll find out which spell it is, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Um, da, 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 da. Alignment. I don't know if you guys. It doesn't really need to have alignment. Um, actions. All right. Basically, that is a. Uh, we'll we'll get to everything. All in due time. I will say how to win. Basically, um. All you have to do to win. Uh, truth, well, truth be told, mainly this game is all has losers. Um, anyway, the player, uh, the winner is the player who, at the end of the game, has the most victory points. Most games continue on until blah 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 blah. Um, By the way, our, our victory points field is still tied to the outfit field. 
Oh, yeah. Which is, God, which is okay. We can yeah, just keep you're track not of our victory outfits. points. You're not using yeah. outfits right now, so that's fine. Oh, I thought that was khaki pants. Armor. No. Armor. Oh. Outfit's Armor's like, outfit is God something different. It. Outfit is something right. different. Um, so, basically, victory points, uh, basic victory points, bringing a baby alive to the caves is 12 points. 12 victory points. Um, I can get victory points as well. I can win the game, and you guys can lose. And if I win, the viewers win, because they're co-mayors. <laughs> I am the mayor, and if I kill a kobold, I get six victory points. Uh, negligent baby death. Minus three. Negative three. Don't shake the baby. Don't shake the baby. Okay? Shaking baby syndrome. Uh, killing critters and townsfolk, page 25, okay. Making a recipe that varies. Random acts of camness, uh, one, which I don't know what that is. So, uh, random acts of cool stuff, I guess, is what I'll say. Alright, so basically, um, house rule, obviously, the King Tord rule. All oh, hail King Tord! There King Tord. you go. That was there, I promise. <laughs> no, you weren't. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's terrible. Roll, roll. Roll 2d6. <laughs> so I'm the example already. Yep. Okay, you are you are good. <laughs> I thought you were like, you are dead. I'm like, oh. I'm like but, <laughs> GG, reroll. Do check. Check, put a check mark on the Kabold Horrible checklist. Oh god, it's begun. <laughs> <laughs> it has begun. Now you can officially die. Um, if, if you roll. Two seconds. <laughs> okay. Yeah. My um, great rolls today. We need a uh, hit point still. Um, one second. Yes, you do need sure. hits. Two hits. And names. <laughs> well, you can uh, you can figure that out, right? I know. Oh, of course. Unless you got some chart you wanna. What are the um, little sub boxes to brawn ego? I don't know. Extraneous. This is, and uh, that's, like I said, I was trying to figure that out, and now it has occurred to me throughout this character generation process <laughs> that it is a different. It is, it is a Kabul Date My Baby character sheet, but it is a new. They are coming out with a new edition. This must be uh -huh. the Super Deluxe Edition, obviously. And I have the third edition core book. So, we're just kind of... Cooking spatula. Hmm. So, how much damage does a knife do? Uh, one. Okay. Um, let's see here. What damage does a cooking spatula do? <laughs> Half. <laughs> Eight. And we round out to zero. <laughs> Snackles. <laughs> Why are there 12 checkboxes if a 12 could kill us? Because when you get 12, you're going to die. Yeah, yeah. when you get 12, you're, you're, you're obviously going yeah, to die. When you get 10, 10, you're going to die. Yeah, at 10, you'd die. But yeah, either way. It's quite, quite uh, true, actually. But I'm sure there's certain feats and stuff that might reduce that uh, amount by one or something like that. So they're just making sure you're super dead. <laughs> okay, your hits are equal to your brawn. Plus well, one. shit. Yay, three! <laughs> Did we say what our move was? Um, your oh, move? really? Fuck. Why'd you roll that? Oh, uh, yeah, because he, I'm, he I'm is, fluffy. He's fluffy. I'm fluffy. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, I am tough. <laughs> nice. Ten yeah. hits, baby. Wow. All right, All right everyone gang up on, on Bob first. I'm going to hide behind oh. Bob until he gets eaten by... <laughs> <laughs> until he gets eaten by me. <laughs> All right, basically move. Um, your it's based on your extraneous. Um, if you want to get down to the nitty gritty of it, Kabul can move a certain number of squares per turn. Uh, what is everyone's? Um, oh, what the fuck happened there? Six. Six extraneous. You have you can move two squares. Eight. Right. 
You can move two Three. squares. Oh. oh. So seven would be two squares as two well. Squares. Uh, five is what? One. Oh. <laughs> yes, you've been nerfed. No more OP Bob. <laughs> Bob is now slow and easy to catch. <laughs> I'll make it work, don't worry. Basically, <laughs> also, you can do... This is the last part, and then we will play the game. That did not take too long at all, actually. That was actually not that bad. Um, under an hour. Um, under an hour, because we had to do that... Uh, yeah. under, that stuff. Okay, basically, you can do more. If a kobold wants to take more than one action in a turn, they can, by adding a penalty dice... A penalty dice adds an, an additional die of difficulty to an action. Um, so basically, if you want to move more than one square, add a dice. Um, you don't have to roll dice to move your your stuff. You can do that normally, okay? Um, but if you want to move more than your speed, roll a dice. And if it is under the your extraneous skill you are good but if you fail if you fail your extraneous skill you have to roll like a bold horrible death check okay all right wait do the viewers get to decide our death no that is actually based on dice okay <laughs> um it i will let them decide on your death if the dice roll comes up to mayor's choice which is basically I choose, but I will let them choose if that's what it comes up to. So basically, I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm delegating um, some of my mayor responsibilities on them. The cool stuff. Oh, all right. So, what do we have here? Um, the I have kind of had a regenerated one. Snackums, that's a good name. Right. <laughs> All for you, baby. All for you. <laughs> All right. So, King Torg. All hail King Torg. All, All right. Torg. Everyone but Kevin. Roll. Fuck y'all. So I have 2d6, right? Um, no, you roll 2d6. Everyone, I have a it's, death it's check always already. 2d6. Oh, it's always 2d6? Uh, plus one. Yeah. Basically, you roll 2d6 and then add the number of checks. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, All right. And then if, if we hit 12, we die? If you go <laughs> above 12, you die. Okay. Um, all right, I'm good then. But so add everyone one. add a check. Yeah, all right, cool. Except for Kevin, because he is awesome. Kevin, you asshole. I'm ready to play, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's this ready. Seriously. <laughs> Kobolds oh. ate my baby. Save that for Mouse Guard. I I, oh, I didn't even have the thing on Kobolds ate my baby. This little screen. Why'd you break it? Yeah. You had that screen up the whole time. I that was the zoom in, look at their character art, and then you just change it back. What, this one? Kobolds ate my baby? Yeah, well, yeah, I saw cool. my characters for like a split second in the lower right corner. Oh, well, I wanted people to see the Kobolds ate my baby thing, so. Yeah, it's We've been, been up. looking at that the whole time. What? Oh, yeah. well. I'm so sorry. You're on it, man. You, you... Okay. Oh, I need to roll. Um, or now I need to generate the map. So, um, where is... Rolling on the top. All right, uh, viewers. The first person to respond um, tells me what's in one of the map squares. I will list out some choices, and at the end, I will say, "Okay, now you can say your, you know, do your spill." Say which one you want. So, uh, a critter, two farmer kids and one baby, one chicken, 1d6 chickens, one farmer and one cow, one dirt merchant, one tasty baby, two tasty babies, one baby and a farmer's wife, one farmer, 
one innkeeper, one old veteran. Bad news, very bad news. Yeah. <laughs> Which one of those would you guys like to see? They're gonna choose like very bad news. Oh, one d one d six chickens was the very oh, first response. Chickens. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Zelda talk here. <laughs> Five chickens. Holy shit. <laughs> All of you are dead. I hit one with my frying pan. Let's go. 